Hello students. Today we are going to talk about bioinformatics, its scope, fields and application. First of all, a simple definition of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics, as we have already discussed in our previous lecture, is the application of tools of computation and analysis to the capture and interpretation of biological data. Now we'll start with the aim of bioinformatics. First is storage of biological data in the form of databases to facilitate easy retrieval and submission of new entries of biological information by researchers. Second is development of tools and resources for data analysis. For instance, BLAST to find out similar nucleotide or amino acid sequences, then uh, cholesterol to align two or more nucleotide or amino acid sequences. Similarly, primer tree to design primer probes for PCR techniques, right? Next is exploitation of computational tools to analyze the biological data and interpret the analyzed data in biologically meaningful manner. Then scope of bioinformatics. It involves computational works to develop an application for dealing biological problems. So bioinformatics deal with development of algorithm and software. Algorithm is a step-by-step -step description of operation to be performed. Means it's a logical sequence of steps by which a task can be performed, right? Molecular biologist, bioinformatics, computer scientist, system engineer, mathematicians, or statisticians work together to solve biological problem by designing an algorithm, right? Another important aspect is database construction and curation. Vast range of information that have generated by biotechnological works on genome, protein, and other biomolecules. Uh, of various organisms are stored in respective databases. And this data that are stored in databases are annotated and can be easily retrieved by researchers. Branches of bioinformatics. The science of bioinformatics can be divided into several branches based on the experimental material used for study. Bioinformatics is broadly divided into two groups animal bioinformatics and plant bioinformatics. Animal bioinformatics deals with computer-aided study of genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics in various animal species. It includes the study of gene mapping, gene sequencing, animal breeds, animal genetic resources, etc. Now, what is gene mapping? If you remember, gene mapping is a technique for identifying the location of genes on chromosomes and the distance between them. Then gene sequencing, gene sequencing or DNA sequencing, right? Is a laboratory technique that determines the order of the nucleotide or bases in a DNA molecule. Uh, and the sequence of bases encodes the biological information that uh, cell used to develop and uh, operate, right? Animal bioinformatics can be further divided as bioinformatics of mammals, reptiles, insects, birds, fishes, etc. Next is plant bioinformatics. Plant bioinformatics deals with computer aided study of plant species. It includes gene mappings, gene sequencing, plant genetic resources, databases, etc. Plant bioinformatics can be Further divided into agriculture bioinformatics, horticulture bioinformatics, medicinal plant bioinformatics, and forest plant bioinformatics. Agriculture bioinformatics, uh, also referred to as crop bioinformatics, it, it, uh, it deals with computer based study of various agricultural crop species. Horticulture bioinformatics, it refers to computer aided study of horticultural crops like fruit crops, vegetable crops, flowers, right? 
Medicinal plant bioinformatics deals with computer-based study of various medicinal plant species. Similarly, forest plant bioinformatics, it deals with computer-based study of forest plant species, right? Now, a living cell, you know, is a system with cellular components interacting with each other. And these interactions determine the fate of the cell. For example, whether a stem cell is going to become a liver or a cancer cell. Now, what are stem cells? If you remember, are specific types of cells capable of uh, evolving into many different types of specialized cells within the body, right? Now, these interacting components, the components that interact with each other include the genome, the gene transcript, and the proteins. The characterization of these three types of the components, that is the genome, the gene transcript, and the proteins, and the associated development of analytical methods lead to the establishment of three closely related branches of bioinformatics. These three branches of bioinformatics are genomics, proteomics, and transcriptomics, right? Genomics. Genomics is the study of the complete set of genes of an organism. Genomics involve extensive analysis of nucleic acid uh, through molecular uh, biological techniques before the data are ready for processing by computers. Genomics attempt to describe a living organism in terms of the sequences of its genome. And you can see here in this figure. These are gene sequences and these different colors uh, are uh, representing the different bases. You know, DNA is made up of four types of bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. So these different colors representing the three, uh, sorry, uh, four different types of the bases, right? Then proteomics. Proteomics is the study of proteins in a biological system. Proteomics represent the earliest attempt to identify a major subclass of cellular components, the proteins and their interactions. Actually, this term proteomics has been coined from the word pro, uh, proteome, uh, which is the complete protein complements of a system, right? So, proteomics involve the sequencing of amino acids in a protein because protein is made up of amino acids, determining its three-dimensional structure and relating it to the function of the protein. Before computer processing uh, comes into the picture, extensive data, particularly through crystallography and NMR, are required for this type of the study, right? You can see here in this picture, this is protein sample. After digestion, these are large peptides, then peptide separation. And by using these techniques like uh, LCMS, etc., then peptides are selected and then peptide analysis. Right? So, with such data on known proteins, the structure and its relationship to function of newly discovered proteins can be understood in a very short time. Then, transcriptomics. Transcriptomics actually is the study of transcriptomes, which is the complete set of RNA molecules found within an organism. Right? Transcriptomics techniques used to study an organism transcriptome the sum of all its rna transcripts the information content of an organism is recorded in the dna of its genome and expressed through transcription right transcriptomics methods are highly parallel and uh, require uh, significant computation to produce meaningful data for both uh, microarray and RNA sequence experiments. Transcriptomic strategies have been broad, uh, have seen broad application, right, across diverse areas of biomedical research, including disease diagnosis and uh, profiling. Some other branches of bioinformatics. 
like functional genomics. Since the completion of human genome, the emphasis has been changing from genes themselves to gene products. So functional genomics assign functional relevance to genomic information. It is the study of genes, their resulting proteins, and the role played by these proteins. Then chem informatics. Chem uh, means drug design through bioinformatics is one of the most actively pursued areas of research currently. Since a great majority of drugs are low molecular weight uh, compound, and since many of them are primarily derived from biological uh, means biological sources, uh, there has always been a great interest in the study of low molecular weight compounds of uh, biological origin, right? So, CAM informatics deals with bioactive compounds, the product of scanty metabolism of plants or uh, the, some other organisms, often called natural products, which has some kind of bioactivity. Uh, this bioactivity can be turned to advantage for therapeutic purchase. So, CAM informatics involve organization of chemical data in a logical form to facilitate the process of understanding chemical properties their relationship to structure and make, making inferences. Chemical structures are the input to identify similar compounds for screening of biological activities. It also helps to assess the properties of new compounds by comparison with the known compounds, right? And last, application of bioinformatics. With the help of computer program bioinformatics, uh, bioinformatics analyze the sequence of biomolecules like DNA, RNA, and protein. So analysis of sequence, right? In analysis of sequence of biomolecules, it is done for evolutionary analysis, and it is done for identification of mutations, identification of exon. Uh, and introns, identification and characterization of novel microbes, then selection of drug and its appropriate dose for patient, identification of drug target and gene therapy, etc. Structure analysis then. Structure analysis deals with the analysis of structures of unknown protein or nucleic acid by comparing the structure of these unknown biomolecules with the known structures stored in structure databases. It facilitates determination of 2D or 3D structure of proteins and nucleic acids, and this helps in prediction of their function. Then, in function analysis, function analysis uh, actually deals with determination of functions of gene or proteins with the help of function databases. It promotes the uses, uh, um, means it uh, promotes use of annotated gene or protein for human welfare by biotechnological means. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.